What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Sancho West, and that's right, I am going after the black belt with my main man, Sir Daniel, giving him the hooch all day, every day. As you saw there, I am at Red Belt. They finally reseeded or resetted whatever Santa Monica Studios did. They finally did it after months and months of waiting. And as you know, a lot of people disappeared from this game. A lot of the gaming community has died out. But a lot of people like myself are coming back because they finally gave us a, a reason to believe they are supporting it, even though I doubt there's no DLC. So what I'm doing is from start to finish, I'm going to give you all my matches, wins, losses, all raw, black belts. And we're going to start off with this match. As you see, I have no belt and I'm going to be Fight. exclusive. Uh, so to speak, so I'm gonna lose my Sir Daniel. I, I like starting off with my shield action That's a great thing to start off here yeah, as you can see in my gameplay a lot of people say I'm aggressive with Sir Daniel uh, But I like to mix in my battle axe my face hands all that kind of stuff And occasionally I throw in that dragon punch right as you see right there action into that But as you see this match I start off with my shield It's a great way to start off the match a lot of people don't have their supers and it's a great way to crowd control the action here. Get out of here, Ratchet. Let's go. Boom! Woo! First one of many, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. I, I like to tech read a lot. I consider my level one for Sir Daniel kind of like a sniper rifle. It's really, I don't know why I say that, but it makes sense to me because it's a one shot, one kill, of course. And, oh, missed that one. Whiff there. It's a high risk, high reward. So I like to throw it out at crazy times because the people don't expect it. And, Sir Daniel, if you if you start hitting that level 1 like that, just unexpectedly, then that gives you the upper advantage because I really believe Sir Daniel is one of those characters that uh, he got to be unor got to be unorthodox as they say because a lot of people don't expect much from you. So you got to up that Oh, the bees. The bees. I know they're birds, but like, oh man. I thought I avoided you there, Spike. I know they're birds, but I like saying it's bees, like a wicker man. Boom, boom, get out of here with that mess. So a lot of people, you, you see, I'm throwing out my bread and butter right there. That's my B and B, the, uh, the basic uh, square combo with the up triangle. Now, a lot of people are like, well, well, a lot of people when you get up in the upper belt levels are not going to fall for that. Yes, yes, true. Boom, Ooh, that was some craziness. Drake right there with the level two. Kind of semi canceled, but at least I got two kills out of that. But what, as I was saying, some people like to say my bread and butter is old fashioned. Yes, I understand that. A lot of people have learned from it. They just like to tech down. I get it. But I see it as a way to build my rhythm. It's a way to establish, uh, so to speak, to see the the game, the skill level that I, my opponent is. So it's like a jab, a boxer's jab. I, oh no, I got. Ugh. I thought I dodged that one. It's like a jab. I like to see, you know, what's going on. I poke and prod with it, and it builds my rhythm. So I'm gonna do it a lot in this. See, right there, Ratchet. He's trying to use his um. Ooh, that was gross. He got me in that. That's a little Ratchet's confirmed there. And yes, I do do how to avoid supers videos, and I will continue that. But I decided to do this a little bit to mix it up a bit for myself to ease my way back into PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Yeah. And uh, I will get to that. And yes, you will see me dodging. Boom! Woo! That was clutch. I, I think I was down one against Spike, but that was clutch. Now we're going to overtime. This is my first time back, so I'm a little rusty. So bear with me. This is my first match. Sir Daniel, going for Black Belt. Subscribe, please, because I plan to go all the way to Black Belt and no one Santa Monica Studios. I doubt that we'll... Reset it at the end of the month. They are kind of lazy over there. I, I bet you it's only like one guy sitting at a computer by himself. He makes up the whole PlayStation All-Star division. You know, they don't let him go to lunch. He's like the uncool guy. The, oh, he's probably an intern, to be honest. So there you go. Ratchet, again, trying to hit me up with that confirm. But Drake helps me out with his AK. Today was a good day. I'm trying to build it to my level 2 just so I can get at some kills. Oh! See? I avoided that super and I did like a boss and simply walk back so I'm kind of trying to stay at my distance right now I don't want to get into a lot of um, I don't want to die basically I'm trying to stay away from uh, a lot of these guys right here and I at least get one kill out of that level 2 super I should have tried to combo it into it but near the end of the match whoa see I try to avoid stuff like that and I think I got the victory Sir Daniels drink yes sir 
drink, 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 drink. Everybody. Yes. First match in the Brecker books. Let's see how I did here. Five and four. Not too shabby coming out the gates. Next match. Still don't have a belt. As always, I expected this whole thing's glitchy. PlayStation All-Stars, you still haven't changed your ways. Your netcode is terrible. So we're going to play through it, though. This whole thing's raw. And this stage right here, I like for Sir Daniel. That little stair up there and the platforms. Platforms and uh, elevated levels are Sir Daniel's amigo. That's right. And I especially love playing against Dante's and, and especially any projectile players. And you know, I'll explain that during this video series, what makes that so important uh, for Sir Daniel. And as well, is you're going to be able to see how I mastered my level 1. So you're going to get a lot of things from watching these videos, so subscribe as always. And as you see that ham throw, I like to throw that out to disrupt people's rhythm. It's kind of like a zoning tactic. Um, it's like a poking technique or footsies, uh, so to speak. So it, it just throws it up. It's a different angle. A lot of people don't see it coming down on them, and I enjoy that that aspect. And it keeps it anti-air. So many things can happen with that. The... Uh, turkey leg as you see there I'm, I'm doing crowd control right there I'm, I'm trying to get people out of there uh, and boom net code great fantastic so now I gotta hop in back into it so this is the reason why a lot of people left a lot of people who play competitively don't like to deal with this boo boo net code so here we go third round still don't have a belt that's cool uh, looks like this competition is gonna be a little light in the beginning but Hey, anything that can happen with PlayStation All-Stars, especially in free-for-all, you know, it doesn't matter how high rank you are, black belt, red belt, um, you could get some bad luck in these games. You know, people could, the netcode could go against you and whatnot. And for all those Sir Daniel players watching, I like to pull out the shield, of course. A lot of people say you know, that is his main thing. you got to use the shield, um, especially against proje uh, projectile players. It helps you build up that AP meter. As you see here, I'm going a little one-on-one -on -one with, uh, I think that's... Evil Cole. Man, it's been a while since I've played this game. Goodness gracious. Nope, that's good, Cole. See? My bad. Guy's wearing red. If you're wearing red, that's evil. So I'm going to hang out with this ratchet here and help build up my meter. I already got level one racking it up. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, what do you do? Do you go straight to two? Do you go straight to one? To be honest, I read the situation. If I could get two to three kills with my level one, fantastic. But eventually, I have to build up to level to just because to get that possibility of getting those uh, three kills in one shot. Um, let's see, let's see what's going on. The action today. Using my hand, using the hand, try to get a little stun action there. Boom, bread and butter. Yakum. You gotta, you gotta see a lot of so daring plus. You gotta see, you know who who's paying attention because a lot of people don't play a lot of Sir Daniels out there and they fall asleep. Now, I know when I get to the black belt, they're all going to tech down, and hopefully I get to... Ooh, you whipped on that Medusa head. Come on, good Cole. You're going to get to see me uh, react and play chess against these crazy players. Ooh, yeah. As you see, their walls are Sir Daniel's friends, so capitalize on the walls. You want to do that bread and butter into the wall. There's not a lot of places for their other opponent to escape. So I'm seeing, I'm kind of reading the situation now. More, more importantly, is you don't want to die in these games. It's all about your your kill to death ratio. So just pay attention to the other people's players. Woo! Cookies! When I get two kills in one shot, that's cookies. Give me them cookies. Uh oh, gotta get away from this guy. Cause it's all about. The KD ratio, you know, you want to avoid those situations, especially a lot of people's level two, uh, because it's not always about killing. It's all about not dying. So if you get the best KD ratio, you're going to win this game. So right now I'm kind of playing a little smart. I'm keeping everybody at bay, kind of judge everybody. Ugh. See, I whiffed that. I whiffed it because I, I, you know, it's a high risk, high reward situation. It's all about you got to throw it out there. So and I'm, I'm coming right now. I'm kind of just pacing myself during this match um, I'm keeping eyes on ratchet because he has his level two right now I'm see if I can get this bread and butter against the wall if if I don't have a super I throw out a turkey leg or oh no mmm I was not paying attention as much as I thought I was about that level two 
Get out of here. Boom, get the kill at the last second. Yes, sir. That's my, my short bread and butter. That's the mini bread and butter right there. There's an up attack with a bow and arrow. Five to one. Nice. I like it. I like it. Do a little drink. Get a little drink. Do a little dance. Get a little drink. Do a little dance. Still haven't got my belt. Not surprised. Not surprised, Santa Monica Studios. As those who don't know who are new to this game, this game, as you saw in the beginning, title credits was run by Superbot. Superbot was let go by Sony. And now here we are. All the the dedicated gamers of this game are on a, la on a raft, so to speak, in the middle of the ocean. We're just trying to survive and keep this game alive. Um, most likely, as you saw recently, it is available in the PlayStation Network Store and it's half off, so... We're not half off discounted, I'm sorry, so a lot of people are checking it out. Um, we got a lot of uh, newbies in the mix, so I'm, I'm surprised to see uh, a lot of people are still playing this game, so that's awesome. Boom! Once again, crowd control with the shield. Ooh, Big Daddy is here. Sir Daniel players, you know you love Big Daddy because Big Daddy gives you kills. Big Daddy has a huge hitbox and he's tall enough where he'll get hit by that level 1 easily. And as you can see, I'm going to probably do that against this Sir Daddy. Uh, man, Big Daddy, stop doing that. Big Daddy is, that's the main problem. I like Big Daddy's character design. I'm, you know, oh no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. How did I get out of that? That's from my avoiding superness videos. Oh, I'll avoid those supers. Boom, see? You're too tall, Big Daddy. You're too tall. No, I got lucky. I don't know how I avoided that level two super from Big Daddy and everyone else got smashed, but I got a lucky. Oh, whoa, Big Daddy doing some some scorpion teleport action. So I'm throwing out my battle axe and my turkey leg. The battle axe gets you 30 AP. Ugh. See, I missed. I almost had it. See, there was this guy. You know, this is my philosophy on his level one. Uh, back in the day, there was a guy who did these YouTube videos commentary. Probably like one of the guys who started Hutch. Hutch did Call of Duty videos a long time ago. And he was like a, a quick sniper, man. He was a, a quick scope, badass sniper. And he basically said it best. You know, how are you going to get the kill if you don't shoot? So sometimes I'm going to throw out that level one super. And if I miss badly, it looks amateurish. I don't care. I'm a high risk, high reward kind of guy. But sometimes I do some crazy, amazing things. Oh, let's see if I can get it. Oh, I almost got you. you Papa the Rapper skateboarding guy. I almost got you. But that's what I'm talking about. If you're, low, if you're a Sir Daniel player... You, sometimes you got to just throw out your level one out there and see what happens. You know, you, you're going to miss, but amazing things can happen. You just take that reward, you know, high-risk reward approach, and you're going to see those amazing things in my videos. So subscribe, amigo. Subscribe. Oh, oh yeah. Take that. Drink some of my hooch, Big Daddy. Woo! How do you like that hooch? How do you like that hooch? Sir Daniel loves giving the hooch out to everybody. And Sir Daniel loves stopping level twos and level threes with that. Hoochie hooch. That's right. So, uh, that was amazing. I don't know if you noticed that, but that was amazing. Oh my God, that was amazing. Uh, but, you know, when I'm up in a match, I don't kind of, I'm not a total, lack of a better term, dick about it. I don't avoid everybody completely. I kind of just space myself, and I get the victory right there because I avoided any kind of stupid deaths. You want to avoid, whoa, fall into the hole. 3-0. and oh. Avoid stupid deaths. But, that's going to do it for episode one. It's been 15 minutes almost. So subscribe, guys.